hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so today i am going to cover this part so i have i am going to add a new variable to the system so that i can add some randomness to this uh, objects that i have placed with this advanced for edge spawner so with that randomness so if i keep the randomness to zero you can see all these objects are aligned in a perfect a uh, laid out in a perfect line so as i add randomness to the location like this it becomes uh, more like a naturally grown area rather than a farmland oh it looks more natural so if you keep the randomness limited you can make it still look like a farmland but not where uh, but uh, make it look natural so right that's what i am going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so now in this system as you can see uh, even though I have implemented uh, scale and rotation variations uh, there is no noise or no any variation or any randomness in between these points that I have spawned these uh, trees so yeah what I want to do is uh, add in some noise or some randomness uh, to these places so instead of placing everything uh, these tree stumps or these uh, plants in a perfect line I need to have some kind of a randomness to it so some imperfection uh, imperfection some error some noise so that's what I want to do all right so for that if I select this object in the procedural element we have offset and rotation offset and rotation variation so I'm gonna need to have another yeah definitely another variable here I'll call it offset variation so okay let me open the procedural element and after offset I'll add a new variable and the type of vector let's call it offset variation and I'll move it closer to the offset oh right after offset and let me save it right so let me open it and yeah I need to do that implement that change in the parent object where I set to this WSLS conversion so that means world space to local space conversion so location and rotation okay now here I need a new parameter to insert location offset variation in the type of vector I'll call it location variation no need to add the offset and then um, yeah for this local space object 
let me add the location variation like this first I will break this into elements and split this like this now um, I'm going to add this X like this first I'll multiply oh, multiply it with a random float in range and the range would be minus 1 to plus 1 I think I should collapse this part it here and similarly this one and the other one think I'm using it yeah where do I use it okay here I need to insert now this additional parameter this location variation like this and compile Okay. Let's see where do I use this uh, WSLS? Okay. Right here we need to insert the location variation for the advanced foliage spawner. Cool. Right now let's add some variation to the tree stump not the plant offset variation I'll add 20 20 um, did it work uh, I think it's not work because I have disabled simulation let me enable it right now it is working because now as you can see these tree stumps are not in a perfect line they have some random enhance here you can see this one is here and this one is a little bit right to that and this one is not so yeah they are no longer in a perfect straight line I can exaggerate the effect like this let me make it 50 see now they are more random okay so that's what I want to do today and if I make it even larger you will see so now it becomes more like a naturally grown area rather than a farmland so by extending the system you can even spawn a forest as well which I hope to do in the future all right so I'll stop this episode at this point 
and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode also i will release a source code update of this project soon so stay tuned for that and see you in the next episode goodbye